Hello, this problem has been asked in GATE 2023 and the problem belongs to control system and this problem is from from the how we can find the transfer function the basic of signal flow graph and the block diagram reduction so before solving this problem we will having quick recap of the signal flow graph so the term block diagram means that it is a pictorial representation of the functions performed by each element while the signal flow graph represents the graphical representation of the relationship between the variables so the basic difference between block diagram and signal flow graph is that it is block diagram is pictorial representation while the signal flow graph is a graphical representation and in this question we are having given the pictorial representation and now from the signal flow graph we can find the transfer function or, or the gain using the Mason formula so the relationship between the input and output of a SFG is given by the net gain between the input and output nodes is known as gain so this is the transfer function we can find the Mason's expression and transfer function or gain of the system will be summation from k is equal to 1 to k pk delta k divided by delta and this expression is very very important for finding the transfer function of a block diagram given now the, uh, the terms used in the express Mason's gain formula uh, we can represent t is the overall gain of the transfer function of system pk the path gain of kth forward path while delta k is the value of delta associated with kth, kth path in this in this uh, the in this the gains whatever the gains we will take that is not touching with the kth forward path so remember in the delta k while calculating delta k we will take the gain gain values which are not touching with kth forward path and delta is the one minus sum of loop gains plus sum of gain products of all possible two non-touching loops minus sum of gain products of all possible three non-touching loop plus so on so minus plus terms will come just in sequence so remember this also now coming to this problem so we are having given rs is the input and ys the output and these are the gains values 2 3 1 we have s 1 and these are the summation blocks represented first we will convert this block diagram into signal flow graph so r we have taken and this is the gain one and this node is coming here two paths are coming out so one path is having gain two another path is having gain three so two two paths are coming from this node and again two is coming to the summation block so one this node is repented as summation block and three is going to the next block next node that is also summation block and in between that one divided by s is the gain between the two summation block and again this summation uh, this summation block is going to the output we represent as one and here is a feedback path having gain one is coming to the summation block so we have taken this as like this so one is and this uh, feedback path having gain one we just add it to the summation block if this having negative feedback path then we can represent here as minus now this output from this where feed, uh, feedback is coming we take it as one gain and output we get, get by so this one is by for applying the Mason's gain formula we will find the all the terms so delta will be 1 1 minus sum of loop, loop gains so there is only one loop is forming we can see that that is closed loop 1 divided by s into 1 into 1 so it will be 1 divided by s so 1 minus 1 divided by a, s and no other loop is forming so uh, the next possible terms will be all 0 only one loop is forming so we can write delta is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by s since no other loop is forming so other terms will be 0 and now we will find the forward path gains so there are two forward path gains here p1 and p2 p1 
P1 is direct this is a straight line 1 into 2 into 1 divided by S into 1 into 1 that will 2 divided by S P1 be represent first forward path that is 2 divided by S and second forward path in which this 2 and 1 by S is eliminated so second forward path will be 1 into 3 into 1 into 1 so P2 will be 3 forward path means that is connecting the input and output so that will be forward path now we will find the value of delta associated with forward path since this loop 1 divided by s is touching with both forward path so delta 1 and delta 2 will be g 1 so another terms will be 0 so just represent delta 1 and delta 2 as 1 now applying all these values in the transfer function we will be we will get like this transfer function is called is equal to by s divided by rs is equal to p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 divided by delta and we have find uh, we have found out this uh, p1 as 2 divided by s delta 1 is 1 and p2 is 3 and delta 2 is 1 and delta divided by delta delta is 1 minus 1 divided by s so we will get 3 s plus 2 divided by s minus 1 so the, we have finally got the answer for the this problem so this uh, we have found out using the signal flow graph now we will see the short trick how can we can found this by the second method usually we apply directly this method in the block diagram which is simpler one we cannot apply this second method in the complex system if the if we are having some complex block diagram uh, always go through the signal flow graph since this block diagram is very simple we can also write the values at all the points and we will get the final answer so here rs is the input and 2 is the gain so here at this point we will get 2r as the value and here we will get 3r values now this is feedback path having gain 1 so this here we will get by and after summation we will get we will get the uh, uh, values as 2r plus by here after the summation block and 1 by s is the gain value so after that we will get 1 by s into 2r plus by and 3r is coming from this block and this is whole is coming as by s so we can write y s is equal to 3r plus 1 divided s into 2r plus by and on simplifying this we will get this expression so this is quite simpler one but i always advise that whenever the system is block diagram is simpler then you can apply this method when the block diagram is complex then you always try using this signal flow graph so the correct answer for this problem will be b thank you